Hey everyone, Demise here. Welcome to another Nikkei video. So today we're going to talk about the skill set of Kokoa from a Made in Valentine event. So Kokoa is a very cute and funny character. <laughs> she's holding the ketchup. Her eyes uh, is, uh, is shiny and then she's got this umbrella which acts as a gun. This is a sniper rifle, isn't it? But anyhow, let's look at her skill. So she it says AR, but she's not actually an AR user. I do believe I think she is a sniper rifle user, Tetra. And from the squad made for you, which is the squad of this event, of course. And let's take a look at her skills. So first skill, professional origami affects all allies, recovers 17% uh, percent of cover HP as HP. Okay, is this a translation error? Maybe it's um, it's healing cover HP, but not healing HP as part of cover HP. Because I think cover HP is a lot bigger comparison to HP, right? So if this is another cover recovery unit, we all know how broken, okay, how broken Litter is. So this is going to be extremely, extremely good. Of course, Litter has more attack buffs and all that stuff, but cover HP is always welcome, especially if we're doing the, the shield gating, all right? Affects two allies with debuffs randomly and dispel one debuff. Okay, so... Basically, it's a debuff removal kit as part of the skill one. So in comparison, you know, this is much, much better, right? It's because if we take a look at the previous unit uh, during recent release, which was Viper. After 10 seconds, Viper's skill one is basically useless. But this, if it has a cooldown, it's obviously going to proc, all right? And it's got cover HP as HP recovery and also debuff the spell. Uh, we don't have a lot of units right now that debuffs us. Um, I know in Special Interception, there are ones with kind of the uh, the, the missiles that does stacking damage, but it happens so fast. And the debuff, I, I don't think the debuff removal uh, will be in time. But also there is a Nihilist. Um, Nihilister with the, the burns, right? So we can remove burns. So potentially, this has huge implications later on when we fight bosses with lots of debuffs. So it's a very... I would say future looking forward looking kit on skill one. Her second skill, professional tomato sauce or tomato sauce. Activates when attacking with full charge. Yeah, so she is a sniper rifle user. Affects herself and mini broom sustains damage, sustain damage decrease. Okay, so it's the damage reduction that stacks up to 15 times. Interesting. When attacking with full charge. So she can get to 15 stacks, but um uh, sorry, she can, right? Because it, if it's full charge, it takes a few seconds to charge. So probably two, three, or even four stacks. Uh, it depends if she is a 200% full charger. But this is, it's hard to reach full stacks. That means you have to reach 15 times in five seconds. Uh, yeah, it's difficult. But probably 20 to 30% uh, damage reduction, which is quite decent. Which is quite decent. So this is making her, um, uh, improving her survivability. Let's take a look at her ultimate. Affects all allies, dispels one debuff. Okay, so no, not only does she have a debuff removal for two allies, she also has a um, team-wide debuff removal. And this is burst one, okay. And activates when mini broom is fully stacked, affects all allies. So they're expecting, oh, I see. So this is gonna be stackable then, right? In terms of if you full charge, uh, even if, this expires it's going to add another stack and extend the a refresh the five seconds basically okay so pretty much they're expecting this to um to last up to 15 stacks that means it's oh my god that's 60 percent damage reduction no way that is insane sustained damage decreased by four up to 15 times that is 60 percent damage reduction if you're expecting mini broom to go fully stack and decrease all enemies attack so this is a huge survivability position one unit so i wonder i actually wonder if this is going to be you know allowing us to enable us to use um, a position one that is basically a fusion of senti and a healer right in the sense that uh, you're now able to decrease so much damage from the enemy and also the spell uh debuffs that you're you're able to run one burst once and then one burst two that has some form of sustain and run three burst threes because we know pretty much a lot of times the meta is shifting towards i feel the two one two 
um, or you know uh, 113 but maybe with the addition of Cocoa uh, we'll see a lot more different uh, team compositions available because this is really really good in terms of her own survivability this is a huge damage reduction and if she's dispelling debuffs and um, debuffs will play a key role in some of the upcoming bosses then I think she'll see a lot of play and if she is limited as some of the rumors are saying then uh, I will definitely be pulling at least one copy as I always do but maybe potentially LV3 as well after we do some more testing okay so that is Cocoa's breakdown of course the next one we have a soda which will be in the next video I don't want to drag this video on for too long but this this is the mommy um booba so yeah it's Tomias here and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye now.